All right, so we're back again with the Malhua 10. I believe, just to clarify, this is the first time I've tried this beer. I've just poured it out, sharing it with Ryan. Um, and I'm just going to tell you my notes as I come across them. I cannot find for the life of me a... What's up, Toro? I uh, cannot for the life of me find alcohol content. I'm going to guess it's somewhere around 10. Anyway, pours a hazy straw color, low white head. On the nose is... Not a lot, actually. Oh, there we go. A lot more bread, <coughs> bready notes. There's a little bit of a yeast, like yeasty character, a bit fruity, a little bit spicy, but it's a little bit muted. Although we just did do two different cheesies. Excuse me for one second. All right. Um, yeah, it's it's like a Belgian blondale. But a bigger Belgian blonder is lovely bready malt, so a slight toastiness to it. Um, fruity yeast, like very yeast driven. It's a sweet malt up front, um, medium body, a nice dry finish. It's very uh, highly carbonated, so it's fluffy in the mouth, should we say. Slight perfumey character to it, a little bit of spice. But uh, they're just the phenolics from the yeast, not actual added spice. Um, yeah, it's very, very easy to drink, very, very refreshing. Uh, there's no real hint of alcohol warming. Uh, it's just a nice, easy drinking beer. I don't know what the percentage is, but I really like it. I'm going to smash this one back and get into the 12.